Hello, everybody. Welcome to another reaction video. Daniel Johnson from The Hague, from the, uh, the Venza Hague office. Well, that's not true. I'm from my, it, we are in the middle of this, uh, the, the, the uh, physical distancing. So I am from my apartment here in the Netherlands. Um, joined by a couple of uh, friends and uh, I'll let them introduce themselves. Why don't we start with you, Evelyn? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, I'm Evelyn Oreskovich, and I am the president of Her Consulting, Hospitality Resources. And we specialize in uh, project management, reservation and channel management, system selection and integrations, um, as well as um, uh, management training for hotels, uh, small groups, as well as uh, technology companies that service hoteliers. Fantastic. Glad to have you. Nice to see Thank you. you. Glad you're safe and safe and sound in in uh, in Florida, right? You're in Florida. Yes. Yeah. It's nice and warm fantastic. down here too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very good. Alan, quick introduction. Hi, Daniel. Thanks very much. I'm Alan O'Riordan. I'm a co-founder of Appaleo. Uh, we're the world's first API first PMS, which essentially means that we are. Uh, the most open and integratable PMS in the world today, um, and we're specifically geared uh, geared up for independence, um, but more so probably hotel groups and chains, I would say. And I'm in London, where it's not so warm today. It's about 11 <laughs> degrees yeah. right now. Yeah, it cooled down a little bit. Uh, it was really nice this yeah, weekend. It was 25 oh, on but, Sunday uh, and 11 the oh, day after. But oh, wow, you, that's how it works even out. warmer. Oh, yeah, was, I'd uh, take 25. <laughs> <laughs> It was lovely. All right, so um, what I'll do is I will share my screen and get your raw reaction. So uh, here it comes. Um, na, 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 na. Okay. All right. Are you able to see my screen? No. <laughs> no? no? How about it now? It popped up for a second there. Okay, it's a little okay. small, but OK, yeah. OK, so yeah, yeah, this is about just getting getting familiar with the with the, the, the topic, but it is preparing for a post COVID-19 world. This is from our friends over at Skift. I know that this is uh, I know, Alan, you're very familiar with them. We I'm a uh -huh. I, I'm a big fan as, of of their work as well. So um, in a nutshell, I will just share with the with the two of you. Uh, this article is talking about how how hotel organizations should get ready for the world post COVID, and um, they broke it down into the four four things. So, four things. Number one, they put engage customers to stay top of mind. So this is about reaching out to customers. Two, digitize and streamline your contact center. Three. Reevaluate your competitive landscape. And four, bring health and wellness to the front, to the forefront through contactless technologies. So I'll say that again so in summary. Or the first one, engage customers so that you're staying, staying top of mind. Number two, digitize and streamline your contact center. Three, reevaluate your competitive competitive landscape and number four health and wellness to the forefront with contactless technologies okay so my question to you this is not not to be a quiz per se <laughs> my question to you two is this do you agree with those four follow-up question if you don't agree with those four is there something that should be in there and then and then follow up after that if you agree with those four, is that it, do you like that order? Is that the right order? So, and I can I can I can summarize them again if you'd like. Um, but what do you think? Uh, who wants? Who would like to tackle this? First? Who's who's looking? Con Alan, you're looking very confident. <laughs> what, are you, what, what, are your, what are your thoughts? It's a skill that I've learned over many years as a salesman. <laughs> Look confident. No matter how, how much no, the turmoil is under, under the surface. Right. <laughs> um, actually, it's kind of interesting because I'm, I'm, um, I should say for anybody who's watching this, this is genuine. I mean, we, we literally 
Um, this is our first exposure to what we are going to be talking about today. But uh, as luck would have it, I'm actually writing a white paper at the moment about uh, post-COVID-19 uh, landscape for hotels and what that might look like. And of course, I'm looking at it purely from a, a technology perspective. So a couple of the things that really sort of jump out at me from, from that are the, um, the health and wellness thing, which I was thinking about also the, the need to digitize. I'm going to just focus in on the health and wellness because it's probably less, um, it's, it's probably a more broad topic. But um, yeah. clearly there is, uh, over the last few years, there's been some movement towards a more contactless and a more, more, more what I would call a self-service guest journey. Um, so that would be concierge apps, um, digital online check-in, kiosk check-in at the hotel itself, mobile key, which has been relatively slow on the uptake, um, mm -hmm. Even, you know, looking a little more blue sky, robot uh, food service, right? Um, room service, uh, robot yeah. room service delivery, if you like, which has, which has actually been deployed in some hotels around the world. Yeah. And um, it, it did strike me as I was writing my white paper on this topic that um, these are all areas, uh, I think, which will see an increased focus as part of a, um, yeah. a strategy to, to recover yeah. from the COVID-19 crisis. And I think that um, possibly now is the time when some hoteliers have they've kind of been through the worst of the last three or four weeks where they've had to consider what to do with their hotels. They've had to yeah. deal with their guests who are cancelling and try to, to make the best of that situation. Then also perhaps in some cases furloughing staff. And now that's kind of starting to settle. And I see um, an emerging phase where hot hoteliers are now starting to say, well, what can we do? to prepare ourselves for this, which is exactly what that skipped article appears yeah. to be um, yeah. attempting to to tackle. And I think from a health and wellness perspective, if you think about that, there's a huge amount that can be done there. And the technology is available today to deploy yeah. that. So yeah. that, that would be my opening salvo on that particular point. Perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, what are your thoughts? Um, well, actually, I've been working with one of my clients on the engagement aspect now. And one of the things that we're really focusing on is taking a good look at what's happening with your data and what kind of data do you have and what yeah. do you know about your clients and really cleaning the data up in order to engage them in a way to not only keep you top of mind to them, but also mm -hmm. working with the marketing department and coming up with some campaigns around birthdays recognition of their their contribution to your, to your, your business, as well as... Um, letting them know here's what you're doing at your hotel to make sure that when they come they'll be safe so yeah. campaigns not so much around you know come back we want you to come back but more campaigns surrounding while you're away we're taking measures to make sure that when you do come back you know everything is going to be clean you know doing features yeah. on what they're doing to sanitize and any refurbishments if they're changing yeah. all the soft goods and you know just just engaging them in that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like the the two of you kind of covered all all four, and you're in agreement with with those. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, and but you know, but based on your focus, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, and in your area, uh, you know, leaning on one or the other, and the thing you're talking, you just mentioning Evelyn. We had a we just had a had a call another reaction video and where we talked about cleanliness theater where making a making an effort for hoteliers mm -hmm. to 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 assure guests that it's not only advantageous and wonderful to come here but it's also safe uh, to come to right. our to our properties and things like that so very very cool anything that you think post uh, COVID is missing from their list anything that you thought well how, how did they not mention X. Anything that springs to mind? It's kind of, I mean, that's, that's one of the things that I've been looking at with my clients is what do you do now to prepare, right? And one of the things that a lot of folks are really taking advantage of, and this is a lesson we learned from 9-11, and that is taking a good look at your channel mix and making a determination of, you know, who really are the partners that you want to do business with in the mm -hmm. future? How have they treated yeah. your guests in terms of refunds and, and the ease yeah. of cancellations? Um, yeah. And what kind of revenue are they really bringing at the end? One of the lessons of 9-11, and I remember all too well, was that the OTAs took over. And everybody was so desperate to put heads in beds yeah. 
yeah. if they didn't think about the bottom yeah. line and what it did to affect that. Yeah. So we've been, t you know, over the last 20 years, we've kind of learned and, you know, yeah. put in, yeah. you know, best rate guarantees and all kinds mm -hmm. of things to make sure that we're at least playing on a level playing field with the OTAs, yeah. right? So we're a lot further along now than we were yeah. then. Um, but people really need to take a good look at who is contributing to their business and taking, you know, there's nothing coming in now. So with no new data coming in to mess up all the works, it's a perfect opportunity to sort of restructure a lot of things, you know, and, yeah. and your channel mix is a big part of it because at the end yeah. of the day, that's going to hit the bottom line. Yeah. And don't give away the farm, you know, just because it, you're in a crisis, exactly. you know, uh, be, be, be thinking that in knowing full well, that things are going to yeah. turn right back around just like you know this too will end this too will pass and and don't put yourself in a in a compromise and, and that's position gonna, and that's a big challenge for a lot of people yeah. because yeah. folks are going to be looking for deals what are you going to yeah. give me to come back you know yeah. so it's going to be a real challenge yeah. yeah good guys great great feedback uh anything else to add uh before we wrap up this is good okay <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thanks so much for uh, um, for your contributions. Great seeing you both. I can't wait to see you again uh, live in person in the, in the next opportunity we have. But stay safe and uh, healthy, and um, and we'll see you next time at, at another reaction video. Great. Thank thanks you. very much, Daniel. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.